So in this video, I'm going to talk about estimating the square root of a whole number to the nearest hundredth. So for example, we have this whole number 40 and we want to get the square root of 40. So we are going to use the symbol approximately equal to because we are not getting the exact value of square root of 40 but just an ex uh, estimation or an approximation meaning a value that is closest to exact uh, value of square root of 40. So this is how you do it. You're going to find uh, uh, a square of a number that, that will be close to 40. So we're going to start with the uh, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, uh, 4 squared is 16, and so on until it will be very very close to 40 but it must be not more than 40. So basically if you say 7, 7 squared is 49, that is that is more than 40. So we'll move to lower than 7 which is 6. So 6 squared is 36. That is closest but not more than 40. So this the answer of square root of 40 it must be around 6 point something. So we know the whole number is 6. And then we're going to put here the square root of 36 because 6 is a square root of 36. For which we are going to subtract it from 40. 40 minus 36 is 4. And we're going to put the 4 as the numerator. And for the denominator, we are going to double the whole number 6. So we're going to double it. 6 times 2, that will be 12. So Square root of 40 is approximately equal to or estimated to be 6 and 4 twelves. But we're going to convert this into decimal because we're talking about hundreds place. So not a mixed form. So this is approximately uh, 6 and 1 third. So by the way, I'm using approximately because we're, I'm referring to the square root of 40. So if you reduce 4 twelves, it will become 1 third. And then convert it into... Um, decimals which is 6.3333 and so on so we'll just round up to two decimal places up to hundreds place so how close is this to the exact value of square root of 40 so square root of 40 is actually uh, equal to 6.3245555 uh, I don't know what's the next but it's uh, infinitely long decimal because it's an irrational number so that's um, the exact value so those uh, see how close it is to the uh, approximation or estimation and that's how fast it is if you're going to estimate it you can just actually do that mentally now let's try another one let's say we have squared of 150 so we want to get the approximation or uh, this is uh, approximately equal to so we're going to find the whole number if you square it it will be close to 150 but it not it must be not more than 150 so actually if you say 11 then 11 squared is 121 12 squared is 144 so of course if you don't memorize the squares then you can just uh, compute it do, do trial and error until you get close to 150 so uh, actually we use a 12 because that's the closest 12 squared is 144 if you say 13 13 squared is 169 it's more than 150 and so the uh, 12 is actually a square root of 144 so we're going to put that uh, it there so that we can subtract it from 150 and 150 minus 144 is uh, 6 so that will be our numerator and then the denominator will be, again, we are going to double the, the whole number, which is 12. So 12 uh, times 2 is 24. So square root of 150 is approximately 12 and 6 over 24. So let's reduce the fraction. That is 12 and 1 fourth. Or in decimal, that is 12.25. Twelve so if you don't know how to convert the decimal uh, fraction to decimal then you can um, watch my other videos for how to convert it from fraction to decimal so now let's get the uh, exact value of square root of 150 
So here's the exact value, square root of 150, it's 12.24744 and so on. So it's very, very close to 12.25. So in fact, if you're going to round it off, it will be 12.25, rounding off up to hundreds place. So that's how close it is and that's how fast it is to do if you're going to estimate uh, the the value of a uh, square root of a non-perfect uh, number. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.